Developed by George Lane in the late 1950s, the stochastic oscillator is a momentum indicator that shows the location of the close, relative to the high-low range, over a set number of periods. It follows the speed or the momentum of price. As a rule, the momentum changes direction before the price does. As such, bullish and bearish divergences in the stochastic oscillator can be used to foreshadow reversals. This was the first and most important signal that Lane identified. Lane also used this oscillator to identify bull and bear setups to anticipate a future reversal. Because the stochastic oscillator is range-bound, it is also useful for identifying overbought and oversold price levels. The most widely used setting for the stochastic oscillator is 14 periods, which can be days, weeks, months or an intraday time frame. A 14 period percent K would use the most recent close, the highest high over the last 14 periods and the lowest low over the last 14 periods. Percent D is a 3 day simple moving average of percent K. This line is plotted alongside percent K to act as a signal or trigger line. A buy or sell alert occurs when the percent K crosses through a 3 period moving average called the percent D. When the stochastic is above 80, a stock or market is overbought. When the stochastic stays above 80, it means the uptrend is strong. When the stochastic breaks below the 80 level, expect a downward correction or the start of a new downtrend. When the stochastic is below 20, a stock or market is oversold. When the stochastic stays below 20, it means the downtrend is strong. When the stochastic breaks above 20, expect an upward correction or the start of a new uptrend. There are many different trading strategies for use with the stochastic oscillator, but among the best is the overbought oversold method. First establish the larger trend in the stock or market you are trading. Create your stochastic overlay using a full stochastic and a setting of 14 and 3. The stochastic gives a buy signal when it breaks above the 20 line. It gives a sell signal when it breaks below the 80 line. Another popular trading method that uses the stochastic oscillator is called the crossover method. When the percent K line from above crosses the percent D line downwards, it is a sell signal. When the percent K line from below crosses the percent D line upwards, it is a buy signal. Stochastic line crossovers that happen above the 80% level and below the 20% level are treated as the strongest signals when compared to crossovers outside these areas. Swing traders may want to increase the sensitivity of the stochastic oscillator by using a 5-3 setting, which is better for trading rapidly changing markets. The third most popular method of trading with a stochastic oscillator is called the divergence method. If the price of a stock is making new highs, but the stochastic is making new lows, a negative divergence has taken place, and it means the price of the stock is likely to drop. If the price of a stock is making new lows, but the stochastic is making new highs, a positive divergence has taken place, and it means the price of the stock is likely to jump higher. The goal of this strategy is to look for a divergence between the price of a stock and the stochastic oscillator.